Gronje, really disappointing there. Um, yeah, felt like uh, we had our opportunities. Um, don't get me wrong, we definitely played a lot better than we have in the whole championship so far. But I suppose Down will come away with the same feeling, missed opportunities. But we definitely had the chances. Maybe we didn't convert as many as we could have. Um, but at least we didn't lose it and it looked like it was running away from us there in the last couple of minutes of injury time so we came back and got a point to take it to a draw. So we still got a bit of hope now going into the last game against Tipperary, which it means there's still something to train for now for the next couple of weeks. You say you didn't convert your chances, but you certainly took your goals. I mean, you had two goals on the board even before you got a point, the second goal by yourself. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I suppose anybody hovering in around the full forward line, the chances that come around, you just have to try. Sometimes they go for you, sometimes they don't today. We were fortunate that uh, I think it was the three full forwards there that got on the end of the goal. So um, I suppose Lady Luck was maybe on the full forward line side this time around. It doesn't always go that way, but we're definitely very grateful because in the first half they were what was keeping us in the game because down we're being so um, good at tapping over the points. So worked for us today. And the last goal from your super sub? Yeah, Karen, uh, big legend. Uh, she played there 10 minutes in the Wexford game, but uh, she's been back training now for a couple of weeks, or well, a couple of months, maybe six, eight weeks, and um, she hasn't lost it. Like she had her surgery in May last year, and she had a it wasn't a straightforward cruciate. She had another injury as well that meant she was sidelined for longer than nor the, than the normal ACL. So she came back there, and she was so eager to get the ball. You could see her taking Fanula away out into the half halfway line, you know, dying to get the ball. But she got on the end of it, and didn't surprise me like Karen has an eye for goal, she can catch a ball, she can double on a ball, so um, it was a great boost when she came on and got it, I'm sure she'll be delighted as well. John, disappointing in the end, but a lot of positives there for you today. Yes, yeah, listen, it's, 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 it's disappointing, but not, I'm not that disappointed, if you know what I mean, I thought the girls played absolutely fantastic today, um, you couldn't fault them, you know, they gave it everything, and it was just, we could have sneaked it in the end, um, very unlucky, but I'm not, I, can't say I'm, I can't say I'm totally disappointed, like, um, if we'd got bet, yes, it would, but the girls just f fantastic from start to finish. They just never gave up and had chances, created great chances. Defensively, we were lethal in the second half. Gee, they, they just cut out everything. Um, chances that you'd say were set scores and they still got back and got the blocks in and hooks in. And the best thing was they cleared them. They were able to get the ball out after, after you know, we put in a block as grand, but they actually got the ball back out again and kept us in the game and it was fantastic. Fanta like, yes, we would like to win and it would have been better for us going forward but you can't fall together it's like it's great I'm not surprised you picked out the defence there because yeah. you got four goals down for all their great forwards and all their great scores they didn't get through for goals because you, your defence was so resolute yeah the girls like we we actually were expecting them to set up straight away with, with a sweeper and they didn't and then it's like you're kind of you know it becomes pretty open like if you're going man to man and that but the guy have great confidence the girls like they're you know individually they're great they're great players like and today girls today they worked as a team as well like you know two and three and they got in the blocks and they got in the tackles and you have to say we built on we built it from the back today like really great stuff like and you kept getting the goals at the right times to keep in it yeah um well she at least you know like Grania has been doing it for plenty plenty of time she's very clever and she knows in the right places and she knows what to do when she gets it um second goal probably the best goal she just put, pulled on it early she took it up she blocked or hooked or free so she knows what to do and we only kelly got a great goal too just waiting for the ball to break and again latched onto it and that's what you want out of your forwards like to be just be clever and be thinking you know? was the last goal not your favorite uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> your super we, sub we were nearly gone and, and it was straight like we got it was great it was great it we they got away in us you know they got it they, we actually created a great three or four great chances and but they went up and got the pint and then they got the, the they got the free that put them one up um, but no, the goal was, it was obviously it was fantastic to get it at, at that time. And I thought we were a couple of minutes to go, we, we could have maybe got another. But that's what that's the things, you know. One game left against uh, Tipperary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we look forward to playing them. Um, another massive game. Tip, we're kind of, they're kind of all the same. We're on the same level, I think. You know, tip down ourselves. There's not a whole pile between us. Hopefully, um, that's another big game. But if girls performing that today, we have no fears of them. Like you know. If they played that today, uh, we'd have, they'd have a great chance to turn them over. Like, and Tipper coming does, it's not easy travel. So I do find you know, the, the, the travels because it's not traveling hours, it's like four or five hour distance every time. We, we felt it ourselves last year and even this year, the travel it takes it out of you. Like, so hopefully it'll take a 10% off them when they come up here. <laughs> so it's not over yet? No, we're still in it. 
it's, we're still there, we still have a chance, we have to beat them of course, and then I think it'll go down into, I presume it goes down into score difference or whatever, like, and you never know, we're still there, we're still fighting, and the girls are fantastic today, I couldn't be more proud of them. Like. So overall, OK, it's disappointing, but you showed great heart to come back in the last 10 minutes and to get that draw in front of a good crowd here in Owen Beck. Yeah, I mean, honestly, down our super team, if you watch the way they played there, the way they sometimes got the ball in midfield and they were run off, running off each other and just picking points, you know, from half-forward line, they made it look very, very effortless at times. So they're an excellent team. They were all Ireland finalists last year. They're current reign and Ulster champions. So... We knew we were coming out here and it was going to be a really big task for us, but we were confident in our own ability. So we're delighted that we suppose live to fight another day and that the championship's possibly still there and all our semi-final place is hopefully going to be within our grasp. So, so the summer's not over yet? Fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't want it to be. The, uh, a few of us getting on, me particularly, and I would love to finish on a high and being in Croke Park would be amazing. Um, so all the girls are the same. We'd love to be here in September and the weather hopefully will stay nice up until September and I'm sure what's better than playing nice sunny weather and green pitches like Owen Beg or Croke Park. So fingers crossed. Is that what keeps you going at this stage of your career? Uh, yeah, like it's good crack. What else do you be doing? Like go home and sit in front of the TV or go to the gym or do something. Like, I mean, I know up around Port Stewart there's plenty to do in the beaches and stuff and go swimming and all, but there's something about a team sport that's great and the crack that you have with the girls, just meeting people and travelling about. So it's hard to beat. But it's the love of the game too. You obviously have that love of the game. You just love being part of it, but love playing it. I suppose whenever I was out, I was out for about two years after hurt myself and... Um, I just got so scunnered and you don't realise how much you need sport in your life just to kind of keep you on a like on a high and just keep everything taken over and keep this right and so when I didn't have it I missed it so much so didn't take it for granted when I came back and just try and manage my age and my injury to make sure that I can keep playing because I'm a nicer person when I'm playing and it keeps me <laughs> happier and I'm sure everybody else will agree people that know me friends and family so yeah I love it and I suppose yeah that's why you keep it going it's good for you as well. It's good for the head as well as the body. Oh, definitely good for the head. I mean, after I hurt myself, if you asked any of my family, I think I was off work for about four months and I definitely wasn't in a good headspace whatsoever. And a lot of people that are playing there today on that pitch, Camogie, they probably feel is what defines them. And whenever you don't have that, you're at a loss. So getting back and John ringing me up and asking me to come back to play for the county, I felt privileged again to be able to get back into that position. And I love it. John's brilliant, Mo and Jared and the girls are a super bunch of players. So um, come, come up here every Tuesday and Thursday and I have to say, it's a nice wee trip coming up and getting to play. And um, making yourself a better player for your club as well. You're going back to your own club and your skills are better and the speed at which you can do things and your fitness is better. So the benefits definitely outweigh the, the negatives.